Right. Um, on the previous lesson, we checked how we can find um, the how how we can find the x intercepts. We did that by solving f of x equals to zero. Now the question is, we now want to find the turning points. For us to find the turning point, uh, all we need to do is we need to differentiate first. That is, you find f dash of x. Which means as you find f of dash of x, you are differentiating this one, which now becomes it will be 6x squared. You differentiate this one, you get again minus 6x. You differentiate minus 11x, you get minus 11. You differentiate 6, it's a 0. So uh, how do we find the coordinates at the turning point? We need to know that at the turning points, f dash of x is equals to 0 because the gradient at a turning point is 0. Therefore, which means we are saying, and f dash of x is this one. We are saying x, 6x x squared minus 6x minus 11 is equals to 0. Therefore, all we now need to do is we now need to solve for x here, uh, which means we can even use uh, the quadratic formula. That is to say x equals to minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4ac all over 2a, which in this case x equals to minus our b is minus 6 plus or minus square root of b is again minus 6 squared minus 4 into 6. That's our a and our c is minus 11 all over 2 into 6. Then from there, you can even use your calculator as you simplify that one. Uh, let me just show you how I do normally do it. Uh, let me get it closer as well. Right, thank you. Yeah, right there, I think you can see it. I, I normally put my fraction first, then minus. The way it is, is the way I punch it. Minus 6 close bracket plus square root uh, sorry square root plus square root of open bracket minus 6 squared minus 4 into our a is 6 our c is minus 11 uh, close bracket then in the denominator is 2 into 6 close bracket um equals to uh let me put it as a decimal to two decimal places that is x equals to 1.94 uh or x equals to then i take it back where there is plus remember there's a plus or minus where there's a plus there i remove the plus i put a minus then i say equals to as a decimal, it's uh, x equals to minus 0 0.94. Then, remember, we are looking for the coordinates of the turning points, which means to find the y value, you substitute into your original function. You substitute into f of x. Therefore, where there is x, that is to find the y value, you would say y equals to 2 into 1.94 cubed minus 3 into 1.94 squared minus 11 into 1.94 plus 6 which in this case uh, would give us a uh, minus 12.03 you can confirm that with the calculator so you substitute into the original, not into the derivative, not into f dash, not into this one, but you must substitute it into the original. So therefore, this point becomes um, 1.94 and the y coordinate is minus 12.03. Then the other turning point, you are now substituting minus 0 
you substitute again into the original function the original original one that's where you do your substitution there and after substitution you can confirm with check with your calculator is giving you 12.03 that's how you find the two turning points then we now need to distinguish the two turning points to know what uh, is what which is one is which one here look at the you compare your y coordinates look this one has a smaller y coordinate 12.03 minus 12.03 this is 12.03 so this is bigger and this is smaller therefore it means this one will be a minimum turning point and this one will be a maximum turning point thank you so much god bless you